There we go, and we're live. I don't know why I got that error. Uh, welcome back. So I wanted to do a quick tutorial. As you can see, I finally figured out how to make things glow in Nomad Sculpt. I've been seeing it forever, so I'm going to show you how. It's really cool and actually really easy. But uh, usually when I see tutorials and, and watch certain videos, they're from people that are professionals that know all the lingo and stuff. I'm a dum-dum, so this is a dum-dum's guide to making things glow. So as you can see here, I have this object, but I'm going to start brand new because um, I already worked on this for a good while. So let me save this as glow. And then we're going to start a new, we'll start a new scene from scratch. Okay, so the first thing that uh, I did with my other one is uh, over here, there's a camera button. And I like to use this orthographic because that way, like right here, I have the front of the circle. And let's say I want like either side, I can just tap on it and it's perfectly uh, horizontal. So it's not like off. You know, with the other camera, like things can be a little off. So if I'm creating things that I want to be symmetrical, then I'll use the camera and use orthographic. And that's what I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So just remember the little camera sign and orthographic. Okay, so now this little box here, we're just going to turn it to the right. Uh, I guess we don't, yeah, we'll, we'll turn it to the right. It doesn't really matter which way you turn it. But we're going to turn it to the right, and then I'm going to tap on it. So you see this line that means perfectly vertical what's up I, I can't even po poisoned poisoned bob four is that it what's up welcome to the tutorial i've been dying to figure out how to make things glow so hopefully i'm going to make this easy and pain free uh, so here's a sphere and i think i want to make uh sort of like some graphs have like a chunk taken out and then they'll have like a core in the middle and I want the core to be glowing. So, uh, and maybe I'll make it like a, I'll make like a glass, like a glass sphere. So we'll have some fun rather than ju just doing a simple sphere. Okay, so we have our sphere here and I'm gonna name it base. So it'll be the base sphere. And I'm gonna actually copy this sphere so I'm going to press the little copy thing, so now I have two. And I'm going to rename the top one to clear. So now we have two spheres. And I know you can't really see me that much, but that's okay. Um, so now we have two spheres, clear and base, except they're both the same. And for the clear one, I'm going to go to, where is it? This little round thing up here, this little round material, and it has the material. It has whatever you name that layer. So right, right here it says clear. And I'm just going to go to additive. All right, and now that I'm still on clear and I'm on additive, I'm going to go down here and change the paint color, and I'll make it black. Oh, actually. I'm 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 skipping I'm skipping a step. I'm skipping a step. So to make it a little easier, I'm not gonna do that until later, what I was gonna do. I was gonna make the clear ball, but I'm not gonna do that yet. So I'm just gonna hit the little eye. So I went back to this little championship thing and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit the little eye because we're just gonna focus on the base, not the clear. So now we're back on the base. We're looking at the right side of it. And I'm going to use trim. So this little trim right here. And then I'm going to use... Mm, so these tools here will kind of help the trim. Line. If you do line, it just kind of goes like this. And it'll just trim it. So then it just kind of... Whoops. I'll hit view. So then it just kind of cuts it in half like that. And actually, we'll do that. That's what we'll do. So, uh, where was I? So, I'm on base. I told you it was a dumb dumbs tutorial. Thank you. I know the quality isn't great, but um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun making these things. 
especially on live. I don't know why it's so much more interesting to do it on live. Okay, so we're on base, trim, and we'll just make a line. We'll just make a line, like maybe straight through. So with trim and line, you just kind of have this thing. So you just touch on the screen, and then wherever this line is, wherever the white is, it just cuts it. I kind of want to make it straight. Yeah, that was pretty straight. Okay, so now we trimmed our sphere. And what do we want to do next? So next, let's add our little sphere that's going to be glowing. Let's do that. So we're in the scene, this little championship thing. Uh, I call it a... Oh, let, me, oh, let me save this as glow dum dum. Okay, so now we, I saved the project as glow dum dum. So now we're going to make another sphere. So I'm in scenes and I'm just going to hit sphere. And then we have another big sphere here. So I'm going to validate it and I'm going to make it small by making it small on this orange, this orange uh, thing. And this is what's actually going to be glowing. Um, actually meant it to, meant it to be reversed. So let's reverse it actually. That shouldn't be too difficult. So we're going to take, uh, we're back in the championship thing. We're going to take the base and the sphere. And then we're just going to rotate them by this this red line. So now we've just rotated it. So that's actually what I what I meant to do. Let's make sure it's straight by tapping on the right. And then you can just adjust it so it's pretty much straight. I wish it had like a snap to thing so I would know that it's like exactly straight, but that's okay. All right, so remember that other that other sphere that we had that we pressed the little eyeball on? So we're gonna press the little eyeball. And it looks really wonky here, but that's okay. So, so let me just click on the clear. So now we're on the clear. And let's just, I'm just gonna bring it up. And I'm going to sort of, I kind of want it to be exact with the, uh, with the sphere, but it looks like it's like a little off, but that's okay. Just know that this is your glass top. Okay. So that's good enough. And the reason why the sphere is sort of see-through is because before we hit additive, that's regular. And we hit additive. So this little circle again, opaque, additive, dither, all these things. They're all, you should definitely mess with them all. But right now we're just going to use additive because that makes it clear. And that's the way that you can get it like shiny and look like glass. Okay, so we're still on that layer. We're still on clear. And here's where you change the color. So I'm going to go to black and I want to take the roughness off. So I take the roughness down. I think you can take the, I think the metalness should go down too. So once you do that, you're on black, you bring those down, force paint all. And then you have like, see you have like a shiny, like a shiny thing, shiny glass top. And I'm actually gonna cut this off. So make sure that you're still in clear. And we're gonna trim it the same way we did the other sphere. So we're just gonna go to trim with our line and I'm going to make sure that it's exactly right. There we go. And then we just touch next to where we want to trim and whatever's white will just get trimmed off like so. I'll hit view so I can look at it. So now we have our, we have our, uh, our glass thing. I don't know why this is so ugly. I don't know why that's so ugly over there. But anyway, so another thing is you can see these things look a little like pixelated. So I'm just going to tap on all of my spheres. So I'm going to tap on this one first, the base. And then I'm going to go to 
the little grid right next to the championship thing and I'm just going to do subdivide and delete lower. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab this sphere. I'll tap on the middle sphere and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll go to the grid, subdivide, delete lower. I probably have to make a another dedicated video just for the glow because people that are watching this are probably like, I don't want to watch you make some stupid model. That's silly. But that's okay. So clear to the grid, subdivide, delete lower. So I'll just make it a little cleaner. Let me look at the base on its own. That's so strange. I don't know why that's like that. I don't know what would have made these marks. I'm very confused. Well, anyway, let's paint this. So we're on base. Base is selected. Let's paint it. We'll paint it like a... We'll bring up some roughness. Force paint all. Okay. It's kind of dark. Let me... I just want you to be able to see it. Maybe I should change the color to something light. I'll change it to something light so you can see it better. Okay, so we have our base. Now let me hit solo. Solo is a way, so if you hit solo down here, whatever you're selected, it will just show that. So if I wanted to hit this, uh, this sphere here, I could just hit solo and you just see the sphere. Okay, so now on to the fun part. So we have our glass, we have our base, we have our sphere in the middle, and we're going to make this sphere in the middle glow. So in order to do this, let's go to post-process. So it's this little shutter thing up here, post-process. Just touch that and it brings up all the it brings up all the process things. Now bloom might not be selected for yours, but you want to hit bloom. And for now, let's turn it off. That way you can see the difference. So let's color our let's color our little sphere in the middle. I don't know why it like freezes sometimes. So let's color our sphere in the middle and take it off solo. We don't need solo. And we'll make it do a how about a blue glow? So we'll make it blue. Force paint all. Okay, so now we have a blue sphere in the middle. And this should be all be pretty easy. Um, even if you want to play with it on your own, um, you know, feel free to, you don't have to actually match what I'm doing. So now let's mess with, let's mess with post process now. So we want to hit bloom. Make sure bloom is checked. And then, let's see if I can remember. It always freezes. So then we go to this little sphere thing, and then you hit additive. I'm pretty sure it's additive, right? Um, let me make sure. Um, what is it? Okay, that's right, that's right. I almost forgot, I almost forgot a step. So we've hit additive, we went to the circle, we hit additive, and the next thing you do is hit always unlit. So there's a little, you're in materials in this little sphere, and right underneath opacity is always unlit. So you want to check always unlit. So once you check always unlit, you'll see there's like a nice glow coming from that which is awesome which is what we wanted and let me see let me see if i can figure out a way to make it solid because right now we can still see through it i can't remember i did a test one but i can't remember let's see so there's dither there's blending there's refraction refraction is also kind of cool but opaque so additive and let me see if i can remember how to do how to make it so it's solid. I think this is what I did. I think I duplicated this. I made a duplicate sphere. 
and on the duplicate sphere I'm just going to name this dupe on the duplicate sphere let's go to this circle thing and I'm going to make it opaque as though it was regular so now there's one layer so now there's one sphere there's one layer here that's an additive and it's always unlit and then we have then we made a duplication and this sphere is just regular so there's no additive there's no anything and let's mess with it and, and you can't see through it see I can't see through it anymore whereas before when I got rid of it I can see the you know I can I can see the the surface of the you know I can see through it almost like it's glass or something like that so let's see what happens let's see what happens if I just play with the other ones no nothing so additive is the only one that'll make it glow and let's okay now we have the bottom one let's mess with the bottom one and see additive again then it's doubling it's a really really bright glow dithering let's see let's see the difference between dithering here's opaque here's additive here's dithering blending refraction so refraction gets rid of it index of refraction okay so we'll go back to opaque so now we have our blue so let's change the color let's see what how what effect that has so we're gonna go back to our we're gonna call this glow sphere and I'm just gonna put additive so we don't forget so that's additive so now we're on our glow sphere additive and we're gonna change the color So we'll change it to this sort of like red color. Oh, did I change the base? I did. Somehow I changed the base. Glow sphere additive. Okay, so now we have now we have our different color here. So we'll make it like a we'll make it a red, a red glow. Force paint all. Let's see. Let's see why. Oh, interesting. So this is without the the other sphere. That's so weird that like this this thing is um, reflecting off of whatever this like muck is on the circle. I don't know what that is. But anyway, so I'm gonna go back to the bottom sphere, and I'm just gonna change the color of that as well. See if that makes any difference. Ooh, make it like a deep red. Force paint. Let's see if roughness does anything. No, roughness doesn't really change it. Metalness doesn't really change it. Okay. So now we have like a deep... Surfix, what's up? <laughs> Jacob Trash. That's such a great name with such a great icon. Yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm so excited that I figured out how to make things glow. Not that it's, like, super uh, difficult to do, but for for someone like me who, like, doesn't really get all the lingo and stuff, like, it took me a while to figure out the test one. And I was going to do the test one live, but then I was, like, I spent, like, most of the time, like, making the model. So, you know, um... But yeah, this looks pretty cool. And I just like to experiment with different things. So let me go back to uh, Glow Sphere Additive. Let's play with the opacity. So there we go. The opacity makes it really, really bright. Let's see what it looks like without the clear glass thing. So I'll just delete that. Oh, it looks the same. I like the glass. So 
So let's let me trim some, let me trim the top of this thing. I'm I'm curious if I trim the base, if it'll still have that like messy, this like messy stuff here. I'm not sure what that's from. The first time is the first time was difficult, but it's also like the fun part. And then I'm sure there's people. I'm sure there's so many people that are like. 3d illiterate like me so you know i gotta give them give them hope that they can do it because if i can do it then usually i can figure out a way to explain it so it's not super confusing usually oops so let me try to trim this again Let's see if it's still oh. I didn't really mean to do it that way. So I should have put the white on the up top side. All right, let me go back to view so I can move it around. Oh no, it's still like, it's still weird. It's like weird artifacts. Let me solo it. I wonder what these artifacts are. So, okay, so let me see if I can get rid of these artifacts. So, let's see what happens if I subdivide it. No, nothing really. So let's see what happens if I smooth it out. I'll take off symmetry. So smoothing it out doesn't really work. I don't think. I don't know what it's doing. Um, yeah, I have no idea why, what happens if I decimate it, like the sphere it is, wait, first let me, let me get out, because this thing keeps freezing on me, alright, so let me see if I can decimate, how do I decimate again, here, let me decimate this thing, and then let me try to smooth it. No, nothing. These things just keep moving around. I don't know what that is. Dynamic topology. I feel like that has something to do with it. I've heard that word be thrown around. Oh, it's... So where is... Oh, oh. Din Topo. Um, should I turn it on? See what happens? And then can I smooth it? No, same thing. I'm I'm really in territory that I have no idea what's going on. Remesh? No. I don't know what that did. Voxel? Remesh? Oh, that did some weird things. Voxel remesh did something, but it made, like, the edges are all weird. I saw something else, um... Mesh with the high res, but saved before. Okay, let's try that. I saw some other thing that someone someone was saying that you can. Was it cre crease or pinch? I think it was like pin pinch the edges or something. Hmm, that actually does look interesting. But anyway, I want to try that. So let me go back to the messy. Okay, so here's the messy things. Mesh with high res, but save before. Okay, so let me save it. Save as. No, I don't want to overwrite that. Oh, I already saved it as glow dum dum. Um, yes, saved. Mesh with high res, but saved before. So high res. Hmm. So I, I went to the grid. The resolution here. So maybe, so maybe I do this. Let's see what happens. We'll go up to like 300. 
and like remesh. Hmm. Okay. So that that helped. It was so. I, so that was similar to what I did before with the voxel remeshing thing. And although it did make these weird edges, let me see if I can let me see if I can crop these. So I'm gonna use this thing again, so that it's straight. And let me see if I can trim this. Okay, let me go to view. Oh, that's so much cleaner. Look how clean that is. Oh no. What happened? Sorry, I don't know why that got really dark. So this is really clean, so that works. So it had something to do with the voxel remeshing. I'm not sure how it happened to begin with, but it but um, using like the voxel remeshing, like this little grid thing, and turning up the resolution and remeshing. So that seemed to work. Um, keep sharp edges. Maybe that would have helped me with the edge thing. But that's okay. So all I did was do that voxel remesh. And I just trimmed it again. So that was that was beautiful. So let me take it off solo. So down here is solo. Jose Oliver from Nebraska coming through. So I'll take it off solo. So now it looks a lot cleaner. There's no artifacts there. It's actually really bright. Let me darken this up. It's really, really dark on the computer. Yeah, that's more what it that's closer to what it looks like. It's actually a richer a more a more deeper red, but that's pretty good. Okay, so now uh very quickly, since we're all here just hanging out, I'm going to do a few other ones. So we'll make some little lights. We'll make some little lights on this on this guy. So I'll go back to this little championship thing. And we'll do a sphere. And I'm just going to make it really small. And I'm going to bring it forward. Alright, and I'm going to... Okay, so I want to... We'll just make the right, the front, that's fine. So now I'm tapping on this little box again. And remember, I'm in uh, orthographic. Um, rather than perspective, but I'm in orthographic just because I want it to be perfectly straight. And I haven't validated it, but I'm going to hit mirror because I want them to be the same. So I want these, these lights to be the same. So I'm going to hit mirror. So now there's two of these. Why can't I see them? Oh, there, there's the other one. So it's on the other it's it's on the other side here. But that's okay. So we're going to make the front the front. And we're going to slide these back over. And I'm just going to tilt it down so I can actually see them both. There they are. There are my balls. Okay. <clears throat> you have grid when you build something, you break that grid bigger well you guys can read this I guess I don't really have to so you have a grid when you build something you break the grid it's bigger smaller etc when you mesh you make a better resolution of that grid unfix it so that helps okay yeah 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 so so essentially everything's a grid so I guess when I cut it in half it was at a low is at a low resolution and that's why it made those sort of jittery marks. So basically I just added more geometry, I added more of a grid. And I guess it's just, it's some it's it's it smoothed it out. Um something like that. It sort of makes sense in my brain. But but the important thing is is that it worked. Voxel remeshing which I'm learning like for certain things like that's good, like simple merges for like shapes and things like that. But voxel merges uh, when you are actually like changing the resolution of something. Okay, so look at these little, these little 
I want it to be like little, uh, let me make them a little bit smaller. Let me bring them out a little bit. Okay, so that's good. That's cute. I want them to be like little like submarine lights or something. Something like that. No, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, uh, it's, sometimes it's impossible with me. But slowly, slowly. But that's another reason why I like doing it on live. Because, um, because then it's not only me trying to figure everything out, I have a little bit of help. Which always helps. I'm going to sub subdivide this again. So these balls are nice and smooth. And, okay, I always want to like add more and add more lights around. So we'll just deal with these two lights for now. So we're going we're gonna to name these sublights. As in submarine lights. Okay, so now we're back at square one. We have to figure out how to make these lights glow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to duplicate it. So now we have two. And the top one I'm going to tip on the, this one I want to glow. So I'm going to add the word glow. Okay, so we have two of the same things. The top one is is sublights glow. Now I go back up here to the material additive and once you hit additive, then you get always lit. So remember, if you're on opaque, it's not going to... Oh, actually, it is there. But you hit additive, and then there's opacity, and then there's always unlit. Always unlit. Then you get your little lights. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to make the opacity a little bit brighter. Okay. And I want to change the color of them. I want to make them a little warmer. Just a little warm. So force paint all. And I'm going to change the color. Let's take a look at it without the lights underneath. Oh, they're very bright with a lot without the lights underneath. Let's change the color of these and see how much of an effect that has. So you can do it with with or without doubling. You know, you can just use the additive. You don't have to make the other the other thing. But look at that. Look at his little lights. He's so cute. I feel like I want to make like a, a face. He looks like he looks like those fish. He looks like those fish that have uh oh I feel like I wanna I feel like I would love to make one of those. That might be a really cool project to make in Nomad. Do you know you know the fish I'm talking about? Uh, I'll just look at it on the iPad so it's be easier to see. Um, where's my internet? Uh, fish with clear head. It's like a deep sea fish. There it is. There he is. Look at this fish. So you can actually see through its head. This is super bright. But you can actually see through his head. Deep, deep sea. Um, oh, and he always looks so sad too. It's crazy, man. It's really, really crazy. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much, I think that's a good place to pause. Uh, I feel like I kind of explained it easy enough. So essentially you just make uh, whatever shape you want to make. And then if you want it to glow, then you just go to your material, go to this little circle thing, and then you hit additive and always unlit. And it glows. And of course, it might not glow like if you're, let me see, like if you're in the gizmo and, you're so, and you select one of the other things, it won't glow. So just remember to go to view as well when you go to view then it'll glow because then you're seeing everything as is so there we have my little turntable here and I learned I learned a lot from the whole uh, voxel remesh 
and things like that because I always hate when I have those little messy messy things but now I know why that happens so I appreciate I appreciate all the help um, but yeah I think that's good I think that's good I might make a I might make an official like really short tutorial tutorial um, that way people that actually want to just watch how to make something like they may be a little more used to the program and want to just see to how to make something glow so I might just try to like condense it down to like two or three minutes so I might make another video um, but that I'll, I'll just record the screen I won't do live because you can only do one live about something and uh, uh, so and I feel like this was good and I feel like this was fun so uh, I think that's that thanks so much for watching a dum dums guide to nomad tutorial making things glow uh, Surfix, I appreciate your help. I think you mean that fish have shiny bubble. Is that what it is? I think it's. I think I think it's just. I think if I do, because this almost looks exactly like this the fish. So I feel like. Um, I mean they do have a clear bubble. And I feel like uh, I feel like it'd be a fun project to make, but I'd have to I'd have to sketch it first, I think, in Procreate, and then I'm then I I'll just use my sketch to like make a 3D model. But um, so stoked that I can make things glow, and so stoked that you guys were here to join me. Um, be sure to subscribe, and turn the little notification on so you can be a part of all of my uh, all of my my live videos. Surfix, I appreciate you. Jose Oliver from Nebraska, always coming through. I love how Jose is, is, is really proud to be from Nebraska, too. I love that. Uh, Jacob Trash, I appreciate the words. Um, and Poisoned, Poison Bob 4, uh, I, appreciate, I appreciate the energy at the top of the day. Um, oh, no, no. Surfix, I didn't even, I mean, until you said that, I didn't even realize it. Because, uh, yeah, you're, you're a big help. So whatever language you speak, you speak in my language. So I appreciate it. Have a good day or a good night. And I will catch you guys in the next video, the next live. I might do another one today. I'll probably do another one tonight. So if you guys are around at 11 o'clock tonight, I'll probably be around to do one because that's when my fiance goes to sleep. So then I can come on here and hang out with you guys. All right. Have a good one. And leave a, leave a message below. I don't know. It ups my engagement, I think. Poland. Poland. Okay. All right. Um, where, where's where's Stefane from? I don't think it's Poland. But I feel like he's European. Well, his name is Stefane, so he's obviously European. I don't know. But, all right. See you guys. Stop stream. Wait, I gotta get the. I'm gonna try to get the guns in there. There we go. It's not really guns.